Well, in this video, we have a look at the Topi Wedge Dry Bag Size Large. Uh, a, uh, a product I like so much. I got another one for my mountain bike. Let's take a look. And then we've got the Topi Dry Bag Wedge Saddlebag. This size large, it's uh, a really nicely made bag. I'll say it's the second one of these I've got. Let's get it off the card. Uh, there is the front of the card if you're interested, and there is the back of the card. Um, really nicely made, all the clips and connectors, real nice high quality feel to them everything's welded on there's no stitching anywhere on this so there's no leaking or anything this is the seat tube strap that you undo there's a piece of rubber there to hold it in position tight against your seat tube comes back in and back round on itself um, a little bit of Scotch Bright Reflective there and a place to put a rear light if you want to. Let's have a look inside. Uh, it's cavernous, it's utterly cavernous inside. Can't really see it. Uh, just let me grab a torch because if you look on the left and the right, there is a little mesh pouch to help you divide up your load to stop it smacking about so much and make it easier when you want to get something out, you know where it is. So this stuff here is all the stuff that I normally carry with me in my rucksack. Tube, lock, uh, emergency um, layer, and then in this uh, tub here, I've got tubeless repair kit, patches, uh, mini tool, tire levers, see previous video for those, they're wicked, uh, chain link, and a spanner, because I once got caught out not being able to tighten up the, uh, the tubeless valve and sealant was pouring out with it finger tight, and I want to see if all this go into the topi pack and that will stop me having to carry a rucksack on certain rides I can just grab the bike and go with this already on the bike will it fit right so first things first uh, I'm gonna put the tube in but I think we'll dump the box it's a little unnecessary with the size of that bloody thing huge and heavy so that's going to go right down to the bottom. Get in there. Cool. Still loads of room. And then the tire levers are going to go down one side. There's material pockets left and right in this. I'm going to put those down one side. And the tire levers. And I'm going to put the tube repair kit down the other side. Let it go. Does nice tubes can go next to the tube repair kit. Oh yes, there is loads of room. Even just chucking it in a lock, multi tool, spanner, and the layer wicked that is awesome that that all fits in the one there so there everything in fold it over once fold it over twice clip and other one. Oh, it's a bit tight, but we're in. 
Nice, that is cool. What a pack, it's cool, it's rigid, so it's got a, a one piece of plastic curving around the top like that, and then a piece on either side. Three pieces of plastic, everything's welded, there's no stitching, all the seams are welded. That's a good pack and huge. Look at all the stuff that was in it. that's sticking yeah look it highly recommend this pack the one on my cross bike is about a year and a half old and it's it's been absolutely battered and sprayed with rocks and goodness knows what and it's still perfect, it's wicked. Nice. So if that had been you in a rainstorm, that would have been some pretty epic rain. So here it is. So I'm going to dry off the uh, exterior. I want to have a look and test how waterproof it was. I have ridden through some crazy, crazy rain before, and. Uh, the contents has remained perfectly dry, so that's what I'm expecting this time too. So undo the clip, undo the clip. Roll it back, same. And nice. Yeah, the tiniest bit just down there. Can you see? I wonder if that came in as I undid it. But that was some pretty direct spray there. That wouldn't have been like that in the rain. But nice. Highly recommended pack.